Nachman teaches in his conversations in the book Sikhot Aran that you should know what you were sent to this world for is to fix something. What is that something to fix? And he says the indication is that item, that attribute, that characteristic which is the hardest to work on, specifically that is what you must work on and not to run away from it. For example, a person has a problem in overeating or in lusts or in anger or anything that he fe- phobias, a person should know that it doesn't help running away from them. But a person should face them and realize this is what Hashem wants of me right now. This is what is needed is to break this attribute. The specifically, what is the hardest for you, that is what you have to break for Hashem. Rabbi Nachman gave an example of himself that when he was young, he was so petrified to die. He was so afraid of, die, of death. And he, just thinking about death as, a, as he was young, panicked him, frightened him and everything. So he took, he took upon himself specifically then to dove into Hashem. And he said he went with this for a long time. He doesn't remember how long, but it was a long time for maybe approximately a year and a half, he thinks. That's what he, does, that's what he mentions. He was davening every day, incorporating everything, asking Hashem that he should die on Kiddush Hashem die on the sanctification of God's name and he davened about it a lot even though it was hard for him because he was so scared of death specifically then at that point in his life he prayed extensively that he should have the merit to die on sanctifying, sanctifying Hashem's name Kiddush Hashem and that's based on that Rabbi Nachman he, he gave that as, as an example to say that this is what you have to give to Hashem you must sacrifice to Hashem specifically that area which is the most difficult. What this means on a practical level, it's true that you shouldn't ask for tests. You shouldn't ask to go, oh, I'm going to go straight into the battlefield. You do your best, you serve Hashem, you avoid doing bad, you do whatever you can to be good. You know bad situations are good for you, you avoid them. But when Hashem sends you your way that you must confront these situations, it's no solution to run away. Oh, this is not good for me. I must run away. If you see that from heaven they're sending you these situations which involve very delicate areas that are very hard for you to deal with, you must know that Hashem is sending this to you. And in order to f- completely, really fulfill your mission, why you were sent back to this world, you must realize that you must face and confront these fears, these phobias, these situations, these difficulties. Specifically, this is what you must break for Hashem. You're not asking for it, but Hashem is sending it you your way, and you must realize that and confront it, and not to be afraid. Specifically, to work on that area. And like Rabbi Nachman did, he davened to die in Kiddush Hashem, until afterwards he had no fear at all of death. And just opposite, he afterwards saw many dead souls like he accounts he gives the accounting in the book Rabbi Nachman's wisdom the praises of Rabbi Nachman Shiv Aran and in Chaim Oran that afterwards he was able to see th- hundreds of thousands of souls and give them what's called the Tikkun rectification you can see in those books to further understand these ideas and afterwards death for him was a joke was nothing but at the time when he needed to work on it he davened about it he davened to confront it and everything and this is how we overcame it and us too our main weapon is to face the adversary, face the difficulty, not to run away from it, and to use our weapon of davening to overcome, confront it and overcome it.